Hey, guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. We've got how to do this Bloodhound step right here. This is an awesome Ash of War that you can put on your weapons, and then you can just fly around and pretty much become invincible on whatever weapon you choose, guys. It's easy as, simple as to do, simple as to get. In this video, I'll show you how to get it and everything you need to know about it, guys. So with that said, this helps you out. Help me out, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, share this video with all your friends, leave me an awesome comment, and let's get on with today's tutorial, guys. B-Man, out. Okay, guys, so we're right here at Lenny's Rise in Cali, right? And the knight that we want to kill is right here, okay? Now, you won't see him at night time, or in the daytime. You will only see him at night time. So, rest at this grace site and say pass time until nightfall, okay? Now, a lot of people are going to say that you can just run up the hill and have him dead, okay, guys? That no longer works. I'm going to show you guys that right now just to... So for a peace of mind for all those people and then we'll show you guys how you that you have better another way to actually kill this dude okay so let's show you guys that not working first and then we'll get on to it so we're going to go up here get his attention give him a little tap on the way past And then we're going to chase him, make him chase us up here, okay? Enemy fell. Something else just happened there, guys. I think he just ran straight off the edge. We didn't even have to go right up and make him despawn or anything, guys. Hey, new bug. So, there you go. We got him killed. Simple as that. <laughs> and we got the Ashes of War, guys. So you can just do that. Now, I took him all the way up the hill just a second ago and showed that it doesn't work taking him all the way up. But as you've seen this then, I didn't even get the first bit up the hill and he instant died. So he does still instant die and you can get this awesome Bloodhound step, guys. So with that awesome surprise happening, Let's go and show you guys all about this Bloodhound step and why we're going to get this. Okay, we're going to come to the round table and we want to apply that Bloodhound step to a weapon. Now, those are of a challenge by the well. We're going to put it onto the Wolverine Claws. So, we'll go down and find our Wolverine Claws right here. Hang on, not that, oh, Ashes of War. Ashes of War duplication. Bloodhound step, we would want to duplicate it. But we're not going to for this, we're just going to apply it, okay? So you can duplicate it if you have the thing first. We're going to put it onto this here, because we don't want that quick step, we want Bloodhound step. So we're going to apply Bloodhound step. more for decks or for thing we'll go with a keen i don't know what the difference is there for those things but there we go now we have bloodhound step on our keen hooks claws okay guys so now we have the full teleporting ability so we can come out and we'll show you how op that is okay guys we have our oops, bloodhound step and if you notice we have the weapon in our right hand and our spell casting in our left hand that way we can use the bloodhound step while we uh still have the ability to cast spells guys so we can go up there cast our spell and then bloodhound step out of there now i will put this out there mana is used to bloodhound step so you will need potions i mean mana so don't run your mana right out to the point and then not be able to get out because you need mana to bloodhound step out and another thing is bloodhound step won't work if your weapon is not um has a red x on it so if your weapon had the red x on it like it had um that you chose to put bloodhound step onto you would have to get the 
um, stats required for that weapon to be able to use any skill on that weapon okay so for like this I applied it when it was still had a red X on it because I only had 10 dexterity so I actually had to go and get the more dexterity the up to 14 dexterity for this weapon to be able to use the bloodhound step ability on this weapon okay guys before then it would do this okay and then I had to go and get so if the weapon has if you're doing this and you can't work out why bloodhound step isn't teleporting it's because the weapon you've put it on you don't have the required attributes to use a skill on that weapon yet okay guys so with that clear let's go and show you guys how OP this is and let's go and use it show you guys this bloodhound step getting around them. Uh, we'll just stand in front wait for them to attack us he can't touch us. We're invincible to him. We can sit here and stay at him. <laughs> and this is how OP the Black House people. Just muck around with this dragon. 